Hello everyone, the Claws here, and today guys I'm going to review one of the new Hero Factory set, and to be more precise it's going to be one of the new villains from the Breakout web, and so it's going to be Splitface, one of the biggest uh, villains of this new web. So as you can see we have of course a new type of uh, packaging which is a bag, uh, so we can see the shape of Splitface split head right there on the zip um, thingy. <laughs> the Lego Hero Factory logo up there and of course split face in all its glory and as you can see on the back you have the space landscape and is uh, followed by Surge right there which is his uh, enemy if I can say so. Then you have also the 300 game points uh, put in a, well, in a, in a once again in a stressed out if I can say so. So you can uh, access these points by entering the code uh, behind a uh, hero core, so for example you will have even a hero core with the villain, even if the hero core itself is not used on the uh, villain, if I can say so. So uh, then on the back you have the fact that this is a construction toy with ball joints and connectors, or so an action figure toys, one one picture scale of the split face uh, head on the side by the way, another shot of him and the fact that you can launch the Zamosphere with his arm right there, another ad for the code, and I think that's quite all for the bag. Of course, you can open it and close it without any problems because it's like a zip uh, close. So it's, uh, yes, you can zip it. It works nicely. Then you have the instruction booklet right there. And also add for the game points and how to enter them in the game to play while well, the game with it. Then you have the instructions, 15 steps, parts list, Combine model with Surge, another nice picture of Surge versus Splitface, and the win page. So first, let's talk about the new parts or recolors in this set. And so, well, we're going to begin with the first, the front armor, which is a nicely printed part. So Splitface obviously uh, is one side metal, and the other side is more like organic, so red, if I can say so. So here. You have really a beautiful print as you can see with lots of details and really nice. So of course new armor with four parts of connection and a connector on the back. So really looking good. Then you have uh, the new launcher part which is kind of like the old Tornax launcher piece but smaller and with just one axle hole. Then you have one of the new armor part which is really uh, which got a nice rounded shape as you can see so it look, really looks good in my opinion. Two parts of connection and it's uh, really nice. So you have three of them in red in this set, and it's the only set to have them in red. And finally you have the helmet, which is in fact in two, in two parts. So you can see we have two types of, face, of faces, if I can say so. You have the points of connection right there, and so we have a second part, but this time in dark metal. So it's the same thing and you can link them, so obviously uh, the two sides are both different, and in fact, you can't uh, you can't uh, have both the same faces uh, on the same side, if I can say so. And so now we just have two uh, new parts to talk about, but I'm going to show them on the frame. So here is the frame. And so the two remaining parts are first the Glatorian head, which comes in a new uh, transparent green, which really looks good in my opinion way better than the old translucent green, so it really looks nice. And the last recolor is the 2.0 foot, but in dark metal, which looks, once again, pretty nice, but you just have one of them. As for the rest, you have a white frame, uh, you have long bones, as you can see right there, so one with pinholes and one with, one with two pinholes, and you also have the feet, uh, the foot of the back to cover the back, and also it will be helpful to link a part later on. But we're going to see that with me, because now we're going to link all the parts together, so let me just take the insertion booklet so I'm sure I do not make any mistakes. Okay, so first we have the armor, we're going to link it like that. Then we have the first part, which is the red part right there, so we're going to link these two parts together three times. Oh, so excuse me. So here's the first one. Here is the second one, and finally, here is the third and final time. So it's all the same, just but in a different way. Then we have the gun, which looks like that. So it's a 
connector with, as you can see on the side, two new launcher parts. So here we go. And on top of it, a 2.0 weapon, hose pipe in uh, with some uh, green liquid in it. So kind of like meltdown in the same part. And a lightsaber in yellow. So of course, it's not new for those who have a Star Wars set, but it's new for Hero Factory uh, collectors who uh, do not have any Hero uh, Star Wars set. So we link those pipes in the hole right there. Now we just have to put the Zamor, and now we're going to link the uh, metallic part. So first we have this one, excuse me guys. Then this armor on the side. Then we have these two ones, so VN Corp plus a wide armor. And finally we have the excuse me. The arm, so we have this type of 2.0 weapons once again, but it's blades this time. They are also linked on a connector. And as you can see on the third axle all of the connector, we're going to link some uh, axle of three plus studs, which is going to block, uh, which is going to block, excuse me, uh, a ball joint. The ball joint will be helpful to link another part, which is in fact the same as this one. Here we go. And we're going to link this like that. So now I just have to link the helmet, I can say so. So it's split face. So excuse me. I'm just going to find the hole on the sides. And I think that's uh, quite all for split face, guys. So let me just adjust him all straight like that. I'm going to do a little turnaround first. And then we'll talk about the articulation of this uh, big guy. So, articulations. First, the legs. So even if the legs are different in terms of design, uh, they are articulated the same way. So this means this part can turn all the way you want, and then you have the knee which can turn up to this point, so a little more than 90 degrees. Then you have the foot which can't really move that up, but also but can be moved on the sides uh, without any big problems. The only difference with this leg is that if you turn on the side, of, of course, it will, excuse me, block air, as you can see. But apart from that, it's still pretty free. You can turn this part up to this point, And once again, uh, the foot doesn't really have any big problems at all. Then you have the arms. Excuse me, guys. So I'm going to rest my arm, by the way. So yes, you have the arms, so the shoulders are no problems at all on this one. Then you have the elbows up to 90 degrees. And then you have this part, which is pretty free, even if it's quite big. So obviously sometimes it will touch uh, this part of the arm, but not that much. Ensuite, uh, <laughs> excuse me, guys. <laughs> going to talk French. My English review isn't really the best way to make English review, by the way. So we have this arm, so you can move it the way you want. You just have to move the hose pipe uh, with it because it can be it can block the movement of the arm, but not if you move the hose pipe uh, in the same way. Then you have the uh, elbow, which works the same way. This means you have to uh, make sure that the hose pipe is following the movement without uh, well uh, breaking. If I can say so. And then you have the version for the end, which uh, is okay, even if, of course, with the ar weapon on the back, it kind of blocks on the arm, but, well, it's uh, not that bad, even if it's not that good either, either, excuse me. Then we have the L, which is mounted on two versions, one here and one there, so this means you can move it up, down, on the sides at first, and then you can continue to move it up, down, and on the sides without any big problems, so we uh, pretty well articulated. So if you want to do a comparison between uh, split face and his enemy, here is excuse me, Surge. Here we go. You have the difference between the two guys. So as you can see, there is a little difference in terms of size which is a pretty uh, nice, in my opinion. And so now it's time to, uh, well, 
do a sum up about the split phase. So I'm only going to do a little pause if I can make one which looks nice. Now I have a little hard time to make nice pause, I think, uh, this, uh, in, this last, in the last few years. So split phase in terms of colors, well, it's quite simple because the colors is one of the main points of, uh, of the set, uh, whereas the fact that it's split, uh, split in half, excuse me, guys. There we go. Split in half. Uh, but apart from that, uh, well, the two colors uh, look really good together. So you have silver, well, dark metal, and red. So it looks good. There is no big problems in terms of color shame. Uh, it's really nice, and it's uh, really... Uh, yeah, it's, it's looking good, that's all. Looking good. Then you have the part selection, which is pretty good in my opinion. Uh, well, in terms of new parts, you don't really have that tons of new parts, but still, you have uh, three parts like that, for example. You have uh, the uh, L, which is pretty cool in uh, the new transparent color. Of course, you have the helmet, which is really a nice idea. You have two parts like that if you like these big bulky parts in dark metal. Uh, so yeah, overall, it's a pretty good part selection. Maybe not the best because, well, it doesn't really have enough uh, new parts, in my opinion, or new colors. But, well, at least I think it works well. And you really have some big parts to make some type of uh, specific mock. So it can, I think, uh, be, it can be pretty useful. Then you have the articulations, which works uh, just nice. So a little more than 90 degrees for the legs and just 90 degrees for the arms is fine by my standards. So it's really uh, okay. Once again, you can really make some nice pose, plus the fact that the uh, neck is mounted on two ball joints, which helps to make better pose for the head and really make him, uh, make him, look, like, make him look scary, for example. Uh, and finally, you have the overall design, and I think that the overall design is great, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing I don't really like is the fact that they, uh, the gun isn't really that good looking, in my opinion. It's like a little weird. And also the fact that they decided to choose uh, three, times, three times the same parts here, here and there. It's a little a bit repetitive, in my opinion. But apart from that, um, it's a great set. I like the fact that he has a weapon which can fire on his left arm and on his right hand he has more like uh, blades which i think is pretty cool i like the difference between the two colors the red dark metal most of the parts are pretty nice it looks uh, bulky it looks big it looks menacious and so that's why i think this is really one of the best uh, villain of this new web because it's really unique uh, features nice part good articulations and apart from some problems here and there it's really a good model uh, with a unique design and uh, seriously there is nothing more to uh, nothing more about it it's really a great set and i can really advise you to buy this one uh, first if you want to buy a villain because it's really a, a good one if or even if of course it's a little more pricey than uh, toxic Reaper, some wax and your blood but i think it's also a little better than the sets and so that said I hope you enjoyed uh, this video review, guys. If you have any questions on uh, split phase, feel free to ask them. I will happily answer them as usual. And that said, well, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you later for another video review. Bye. -bye.